Matt Damon revealed in an interview recently that he's finally stopped using the F word. No, not the other F word, the F word that refers to a slur that goes into the gay and lesbian community, of course. And so he pointed out how he's had this new awakening. And the response hasn't really come the way that I don't, I guess he was expecting from this revelation and the story he told, which the details might give you reasons why you understand it wasn't well received. So going into it from the Sunday Times, the word he's this is Matt Damon now in this interview that he did have in his revelation. The word that my daughter calls the F slur for homosexual was commonly used when I was a kid with a different application. I made a joke months ago and got a treat see <laughs> from my daughter. She left the table. So this is at a dinner table or, or some kind of table. I said, come on, that's a joke. I say it in the movie, stuck on you. Uh, she went into her room and uh, she went to her room and wrote a very long, beautiful treatise on how that word is dangerous. I said, I retire the F slur, and then I understood. So that was his revelation. That was uh, the, the coming to Jesus moment <laughs> from Matt Damon on whether or not he should continue using the word first off in front of his kids and then at a dinner table and then in a joke because he used it in a movie once. Um, so some of the responses from folks uh, once he realized what was going on, um, someone. Tweeted, everybody says nothing. The national news media says nothing. The trades say nothing. TMZ, nothing. Matt Damon has to put his voice in it and says, Y'all know I said the F word until like last Tuesday. And of course, everyone is uh, re responding to that. <laughs> Sarah Hollowell also on Twitter said, Does Matt Damon know he could have not just not told everyone that he only recently realized that slurs are bad? Yes, that was definitely my first thought. So after some of the pushback happened, which was much more broad than that. He responded and he talked to Variety. In a statement to Variety, uh, Matt Damon did say that he has never used the word, quote, in his, quote, personal life and does not use slurs, uh, does not use slurs of any kind. He also affirmed that he understands why the interview led to so many to assume the worst. Um, he goes, I've never called anyone, and I guess he said the word again or wrote it out, the F word in my personal life and in this conversation with my daughter was not a personal, was not a personal waking. I do not use slurs of any kind. I've learned that eradicating prejudice requires active movement towards justice rather than finding passive comfort and imagining myself as quote, one of the good guys. And given that open hostility against the LGBTQ plus community is still not uncommon. I understand why my statement led to many assume the worst as far as I can be, I stand with the community. Okay, is he off the hook? <laughs> is he canceled? <laughs> is this, I mean, it's it's the oh I think you're muted was, um, it's it's the it's sorry, the, sorry. the cancel culture that may happen next. But then, bro, you're kind of telling us who you are. Here's the thing: <laughs> Matt Damon has kind of made a living, you know, basically convincing America that he's this extremely likable guy, uh, and I think what we've seen throughout the years, even before this, I remember. The Project Greenlight episode where he explained to the lady who wanted diversity be behind the camera. He's like, we got like two actors doing diversity already. We don't want to do like, we don't want to like empower any Negroes or people <laughs> of color like as producers or directors. We did the diversity part already, get out of here. Right, um, I think over the years we've noticed that Matt Damon is a bit of an a-hole. Uh, which again, which is a problem for Matt Damon if your job is to convince people that you are in fact extremely likable. However, um, these are the kind of things I think we get a little bit too bent out of shape about, to be honest with you. Uh, Matt Damon and whatever words he might use in his personal life, um, obviously we would hope that he's not walking around calling people the F word. That would be horrible, um, terrible, brutish behavior. However, like the reason why I tend to not give a damn about it because I think about the sort of inverse of this where we put too much stock in the people who do say the right things all the time, say the right things. I think we have a habit of sort of deifying these people who know all of the cues to get liberals, you know, sort of um get them going, right? Like when people say the right thing, we tend to move in the direction of they're great because they know how to speak. And I think that's kind of crap. That's why it's kind of like, I'm not gonna sit here 
and burn Matt Damon at the stake for being an idiot about what words to say, whether it be in his personal life or excuse me, what words that he's saying when he's giving an interview to a publication. So yeah, I don't wanna see Matt Damon get fired for the rest of his life, even though he's rich beyond yeah. words at this point. So there's the thing, so this happened when Trump was in office, when he first got in office and black folks, Latinos, whatever were like, they weren't as outraged as many others in the country because we've seen oppression. Yeah. Um, and so members of the of the community that he's honestly going after with the way he uses the term, they're not unfamiliar with hostility and hatred and having to move through life, hiding yourself and all that type of stuff. So I think it's less of, of a surprise to the people who's a, who are the targets of these types of things. And it's more of a surprise to people who did think Matt Damon is this great guy. So I understand your, um, I guess you're not taking much stock in it because you're not surprised in no, a way. I'm not. <laughs> so you're, not, you're not disappointed. You're not going, oh my God, did you know Matt right. Damon says the N word? Yeah. And when people say the N word, so there's things that people, and people say, well, what do you think, JR? I'm like, well, honestly, you know what? Um, all, all I do is take note of who you are. I don't need to go and then start fight with you. And I don't need to then go drag you on the parking lot. It just, in my mind, I, do, I don't need to exert that kind of energy for you just because you're a piece of garbage. If I learn that you're a piece of garbage, I understand that. And then I move through life to make sure I understand who you are. Now, the people that are disappointed and worried and this became a story is because so many people take this, this stock in him being a good guy. I don't care that he's that he's not a good guy. I don't care that he is a good guy. I'm not invested in Matt Damon. But I do understand the people that have understood that they may have felt some kind of inspiration from him in his films, felt they could be like him, and there's a letdown. I just told my kid the other day because we're gonna talk about the baby too, and he's a fan of of the baby. And I said, man, it's one of those things that once you meet or find out something about the people that you we used to call heroes. I don't even like that term, but people that you like their work. You have to understand that they're flawed human beings, and you have to make the decision of whether or not that's enough for you to not deal with them anymore, or whether or not you're gonna try and figure out, or they try and figure out what they're gonna do about their flaws. That's where the I think some of the comeback comes from. Yeah, I don't think there's like. We're so afraid of being called out for being bad people or doing or saying bad things. Get called out and then respond with some kind of uh, uh, with something that will fix yourself. And if you don't think you need to be fixed, say that and then continue the fallout. It's if that's what you want, that's what you want. And in many of these cases, these people are rich and famous already and have their set for life, so they can just kind of fall off the face of the earth and be just fine. But the worry comes from people that love these folks so much, and. Honestly, it hurts people that didn't know it. So I mean, I guess I can see both sides of it. So personally for me, I wasn't surprised, but for people who are surprised, it's time to stop worshiping these people. JR, you know, it's funny you mentioned um, me not being surprised. I, I think back to the first time that I watched The Martian and I was like, this movie sucks, right? And there's a bunch of people who swore by it and it dawned on me like that movie, is basically Matt Damon by himself in Mars tending to crops and stuff. And so if you buy into Matt Damon as a likable guy, a guy you wanna hang out with, The Martian works for you. Me personally, I always thought the guy was kind of a So like I, I watched the movie and I was like, this is this is whack. I don't wanna watch this, <laughs> this is terrible. <laughs> and so yeah, I think this is just a continuation of that. I'm not surprised that Matt Damon is a bit of a, a D bag. Yeah, yeah. And the thing is, is, he has a platform. And that's where the hard part is. He does have a platform. They do have people to listen to him. And I don't know if this would directly go to people then taking the next step for hatred towards folks, you know? But um, just because they hear him telling jokes. But the defense does start to come for him to be able to tell these jokes. And then again, it goes back to other stuff. The people that want to jump out and defend him for having his right to say what he wants to say, and it's just a joke. I just take note of who you are, because I know that you tell those jokes. I know that you may talk about uh, uh, the LGBTQ plus community in that way too. And it's good to be on notice of who these people are, honestly. And 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 that's the one thing you can do. I know Matt Damon is not at, at like progress at, at, uh, at political rallies 
saying these types of things. That's where the danger came in for Donald Trump because then he has followers that act on it. And people already have this feeling in their gut when it comes to these types of topics. So I think he kind of adds to the positive nature of what they think is a good way to go. That And that's the biggest thing that, that I think he's, that he's got a, if you say openly that you just learned this, say openly that anyone else who just learned this needs to go the way that I've gone and stop it. I just finish it off. There's just one last step. Give me that PSA, you know, that's all. Cuz right now the PSA is it was a joke. My 15 I don't know how old his daughter is. My daughter uh had to tell if your daughter had to tell you about it, bro. I, I think you already knew. Honestly, you just like the joke is what it is. Check out the Damage Report podcast each day, wherever you get your podcasts, whether Pocket Casts or Stitcher or iTunes. You can join me as I give you the news and stories you want, with a range of co-hosts and interview guests jumping in on the fun each day. Again, that's the Damage Report, wherever you get your podcasts. And if you get them at iTunes, don't forget to rate and review. Sometimes I'll read them live on the show.